Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, so today I am going through my top five maternity best buys. Um, so essentially products that I have bought that are designed for maternity um, and pregnancy um, that I just couldn't have lived without <laughs> and I am so glad that I got them um, and I would highly recommend um, that you get them too. My first top buy um, and the thing that I have used my previous pregnancy I have used it um, throughout this one a lot more as well because my bump was bigger first is a maternity pillow now it's huge so I'm going to try and show you it um, but you can see it's kind of a massive six foot u-shaped pillow <laughs> so um, you can get them on Amazon um, you can get them on sites like Groupon um, my husband actually bought me this specific one so I don't know where it's from but they're all pretty much the same um, but the key is you know it's a u-shape it's massive um, and this has really really helped me <laughs> in pregnancy um, I would uh, in my previous pregnancy when I would travel um, to stay with my in-laws or anything like that or went anywhere on holiday I would take it with me <laughs> I know it seems massive but I would just need it I'd need it to sleep um so I also um suffer from SPD um during pregnancy um which is to do with your the weight on your pelvis causing um joint pain down your inner legs um and having a pillow to just you know to have that kind of lot length lengthy pillow to put between your legs when you sleep at night has just been a lifesaver and it's just let me sleep. Um, I don't think I can live without it. That is probably my top product <laughs> that I would recommend for anyone. My second um, top buy um, would be bras. So um, you, your breasts will get bigger um, during pregnancy um, and then they will continue to be that big, um, especially if you are breastfeeding um, for as long as you're doing that for. So um, for me, it was 20 months <laughs> after I had my baby. Um, so you are going to go up in a size and maternity clothing is important in general anyway, just getting things that fit you well, but a well-fitted bra is super important um so i just want to show you these that i've just bought from h&m for this time round um and the reason i want to show you them is so they are um a bigger size than what you would usually buy because you're growing um they have no underwire because i'm just just no thanks <laughs> um they will be very very tender anyway during pregnancy um and they'll be even more tender when you first start breastfeeding so yes you want a bit of support um but i've just opted for absolutely no underwire for just just full comfort um and the other key thing about these are actually their nursing bras as well and so i'm thinking for kind of post maternity to keep wearing these um and what that means is there's just a little clip here um, which is really easy to just clip off and it just pulls down <laughs> so you can access your boob or your baby can access your boob whenever he or she feels like it <laughs> um, and that's so important but those are that's my second kind of maternity top buy of all the maternity clothes you're going to buy please get a well-fitting bra the third item um, is kind of specific um, a little bit more specific to each pregnancy so I suffered um, from hyperemesis um, as well um, in both my pregnancies. Um, it was definitely worse the first time round. Um, so I had essentially really bad morning sickness. <laughs> I say morning because it's not, it's all day. <laughs> it's all day, every day, and you feel nauseous and you're throwing up constantly and it's pretty rubbish. <laughs> And I did all the things that, um, you know, that you're told to do. I drank lemon and ginger, um, you know, I, I tried all the different remedies. Um, and the thing that actually helped a little bit were these. Um, so um, these are anti-sickness uh, bands and they're also used for travel sickness as well. Um, they're basically just to combat nausea in general. I, I used to get quite travel sick as a child and I remember I used these because um, I used to have to get a school bus to school and um, I remember using these um, then. Um, so I thought maybe I'll just try it again because it seemed to work um, and I don't know if it's a placebo um, or if they actually work but essentially um, the band itself has got this little, um, so I'll show you there, it's got this little kind of um, uh, 
ball, I guess. Um, and this applies a pressure point um, just to your wrist. So, so you wear them on your wrist there and it just applies pressure right there. Um, and you can do it with your hand too. Sometimes I just press down, but I do think it works better with the band. Um, and I just found that it helped with the nausea. Um, it's, I think it comes from sort of acupuncture and things like that and pressure points. Um, but the idea is that by pressing down in that specific point um, helps to alleviate your nausea. Um, and I found that it really helped and I, I wore them throughout my first pregnancy and I tried to wear them uh, quite a lot during this one as well. Um, and I just felt like they were really helpful um, and very inexpensive as well to try. So I don't know if you've tried everything else and you're suffering from morning, morning sickness, um, maybe, give, maybe give these a try. The fourth product um, I actually don't have with me anymore because I donated it and I wish I didn't because I now need it again. <laughs> um, so I will probably purchase another one in the coming days. Um, it is a pelvic support belt. Um, so as your bump gets bigger, and this is more a second trimester slash third trimester product, um, I found that the weight of my bump, um, and this probably ties in with my SPD again as well, but it was just, it's very hard to walk. It's very hard to move and walking any kind of, you know, long distances, it just becomes really heavy um, and really difficult and, and strains on my lower back and everything else, um, but specifically my lower abdomen. Um, so this uh, pelvic support belt, which I will link below because I just got mine off Amazon, um, is a belt that goes round um, and you essentially wear it at the bottom of your bump so right on your lower abdomen where your pelvis kind of starts um, and it's sort of and then it just it's a velcro strap and it just fits in place there i wear it quite tight and essentially just holds your bump up a little bit so it's not just you <laughs> holding up the bump but this belt kind of just helps to just give it a little bit just a little bit of support um for you and it just made walking 10 times easier. It was great. <laughs> and um, which is why I'm definitely talking myself into buying myself another one now. <laughs> um, so I'll definitely get another one because um, I've recently found that walking long distances has been really, really tough. Um, and it just helps to support that and um, just helps keep, keep everything um, nice and comfortable. So my final product, um, it's not really an essential, I guess, um, but one of the things that I'd say is essential is actually looking after yourself and, and pampering yourself and having some kind of time for you. And I know this is coming from someone who has a toddler and a baby on the way and is working a full time job from home at the same time. But it is um, so important to just find any kind of time that you can to pamper yourself. And I wanted to show you a couple of products um, that my friend actually bought me. Um, so she got these for my baby shower um, with Amia. Um, and um, these are cow shed products. Um, so I will try and link these before below if I can find um, the link for them. Um, but there's basically two cow shed project, uh, products which are made uh, specifically for pregnancy. Um, one is this, which I use all the time. It is a stretch mark oil. Um, I will be honest with you, I am completely prone to stretch marks anyway, so no matter what I use, I am going to get stretch marks. <laughs> so um, I knew that, but I thought I would give it a try anyway. Um, whether it minimised it or not, I don't know, but something I love about this is um, it smells amazing um, and it moisturises your bump really well. So um, on an evening, you know, I've not had time to talk to my bump all day. I don't really connect with my bump. I don't do, you know, any of the things I did with my first baby at all. Um, but I get five minutes after I've had a shower just to rub some oil into my bump and just talk to him and, you know, let him know that, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to him arriving and just kind of have that moment of connection. And they do say that just, you know, rubbing uh, cream into your bump or anything like that is just a really nice way to to connect with the baby. Um, and it's really helped with that. And it just it smells amazing. And it just feels like I'm doing some kind of pampering <laughs> in some way, um, even if it's for a couple of minutes uh, every day. 
Um, and this item that came with it is a leg and foot treatment. Um, this has been great, especially um, as it's been really, really hot. Um, so this, just rubbing this into my feet and legs, especially where I've had quite a lot of pain in my feet and legs, um, again, very common in pregnancy, um, has been really nice and it um, kind of leaves behind a tingling sensation so it's very very cool um, and it just it cools your legs down it's it's a really nice product and I would highly recommend um, but yeah just it doesn't have to be these things um, I would you know just say just invest in some kind of pregnancy products that you know are safe to use um, that you can use to just pamper yourself in this time because it's hard you know it's not all glowing and flowy dresses it's um it's it can be a very difficult time um i will do a video on surviving a difficult pregnancy because i think it's important but yeah it's important to just look after yourself um as well so those were my top five maternity buys um those are the only things i really use um that are different to when i'm not pregnant Everything else is pretty much the same, um, but those are the things that I would highly recommend um, that you invest in or, or get, um, especially if you've got the same kind of um, issues that I've been talking about. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you found this useful. Um, I hope it um, gave you a little bit of insight into what's actually useful during pregnancy and what isn't, because there's so many products out there that you could buy. Um, and yeah, and I hope you have a wonderful pregnancy. Um, if you do like videos like this, um, please do um, give me a thumbs up, comment below, um, you know, let me know what you think are your kind of top maternity buys. If, if you've, you know, if you've bought something that you thought was amazing that you'd recommend to me, you know, in my third trimester. Um, and please do um, subscribe to my channel.